everyone. Welcome to our McMaster Science Tour. I'm Sabat. I'm Natara. And I'm Manor. And, and we, we are SNM. Helping us with our tour today are <laughs> Jacob and Steve. In this video, we're going to cover residences, academic buildings, and other amenities. I'm so stressed, I can't find my electric holes. Natara, can you help me? What? Oh, here, let me go show you where your classes are. Let's go. Welcome to the Burke Science Building, or BSB, hub for all things science. Here, you'll also find BSB 147, one of campus's larger lecture halls. There's also bio labs on the second floor and physics labs in the basement. And right behind me, we have ABB. You'll probably get familiar with this building because this is where first year chem labs take place. All right, this is the psychology building where you'll have your tutorials for psychology 1x3 and 1xx3 in first year. It is also home to the live lab, which focuses on the psychology and music development in humans. Welcome to Hamilton Hall, home of all things math and stats. Check out the study rooms in the math cafe. Welcome to the arts club. Woo! Home to Kenneth Taylor Hall, Togo Salmon Hall, and Chester New Hall. Oh hey, do you remember where you had your bio lecture in first year? Oh yeah, actually it's right around the corner. <laughs> Here's L.R. Wilson and MDCL. You might have some of your classes in these lecture halls right behind the door, but don't forget to check out the waterfall room right over there. McMaster has a nuclear reactor on campus. Wait, so now that I know where my classes are, where can I go to study? Yeah, McMaster actually has a whole bunch of beautiful libraries. Oh, it looks like Thode's over there. Let's go check it out. Thode Library is another one of McMaster's libraries that is open 24-7 during exam period, so make sure to check it out with your friends. And right behind me, we've got the Health Sciences Building. It's got lecture halls, tutorials, a Williams, and it's got the Health Sciences Library with beautiful study spaces. Welcome to Mills Memorial Library. This is home to the Humanities and Social Sciences collections, and it's also a great place to study. The top floor has a silent study, and if you want to find a place to study with a large group of friends, check out the third floor Learning Commons. Let's go explore some res buildings. Yeah, let's go. Oh hey there, welcome to the Peter George Center for Living and Learning, also known as PGCLL, or just PG. PGCLL is McMaster's newest addition to this lovely campus. It's also the only residence building that has a lecture hall at the bottom, a student wellness center, hospitality space, and it's a perfect spot for pictures. <laughs> welcome, welcome to, to the Art Club! I wonder what res this is. McKay! Edwards! Win it, win it, win it! Bash, bash, bash! Hey guys, welcome to Woodstock. Hey, so where are we going? We're heading to Hutton. <laughs> Hutton Hall! Hmm, what's that over there? Who, Zane? No, not Zane, all the way back there. <laughs> Les Prince Hall. And in the center of Old North Quad, you'll find Centro. If you're craving shawarma, pasta, quesadillas, or even some extra crunchy protein, Centro is the place for you. Welcome to West Quad! Matthews! Moulton! Wallingford! The only all-girls res on campus. This is Mary Kai's residence. It is one of the two apartment style residences here at McMaster. So you'll have four roommates, uh, two bathrooms, and a common area for you guys to hang out and get to know each other a lot better. Kai's also houses East Meets West Bistro, as well as Mini Mac, where you can get food to go or Tim Hortons coffee before your morning classes. This is Bates residence, the other apartment style residence here at McMaster. If you're ever in the West Quad and you're hungry, come check out Bridges, a fully plant-based restaurant. Hmm, I wonder where I can get some exercise on campus. I'm not really sure. Hey, did I hear someone say exercise? 
Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the David Braley Athletic Center. Where you can find tennis, squash, and basketball courts, along with McMaster's gym, The Pulse, which you can access with your student card. Don't skip leg day, kids! Or you can come to IWC for a swim in our 50-meter pool. Zane! Zane, what are you doing? I'm trying to go to the track for a run! She's a runner, she's a track star. She gonna run away when... Are you a runner? Are you a track star? Are you gonna run away when it gets hard? Come to Ron Joy Stadium for all your varsity needs. Welcome to the Alumni Field, located right behind the Ron Joy Stadium. When there's no sports events happening over here, you can come on down with your friends and play some games. Go Marauders! Hey, we should go for a hike today. You're in luck. Coots Paradise is right on campus. Come on, vamanos! Everybody, let's go! Welcome to the campus store where you can buy your textbooks and some cool Mac merch like this. Welcome to the McMaster University Student Center! Oh my God. Let's go to the front. Here you'll find La Piazza, which has a variety of foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's also a Tim Hortons, Starbucks, and Cha Time. You can also find 1280, which is a bar and grill in the basement. Connected to Musk is another entrance to the campus store. Gilmore Hall is right over there. Let's go check it out. This is Gilmore Hall. It's connected to the second floor of Musk, and you can find the Student Success Center and other resources from the registrar's office, such as financial aid, right over here. So that wraps up our McMaster Science Campus Tour. Thanks for joining us. See you on campus! Underground tunnels, I can get you here. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I gotta do a slower pan. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> 